Winston? Winston? Come back with that leg of lamb. Chef Temps have sent me this Final Touch X10 instant read thermometer to review. And there's a $10 discount if you click on the link in the description to buy one. If you subscribe to my YouTube videos, you'll know I hardly ever review products sent to me, and only then if I like them. But this, I really like. Two things I fell in love with right away. When you put it down, it turns off. So no more running out of battery because you put it in the drawer without turning it off first. Also, I'm a lefty. So when I spin the probe all the way around, the temperature gauge rotates too. Let's test it out on the basics. How many of you cook salmon at home? Or should I say uh, overcooked salmon? <laughs> I normally allow 11 minutes per inch of salmon when I'm baking, though this gorgeous center cut piece may cook a little quicker. A splash of olive oil and a sprinkle of seasoning and into the oven, oh, at 400 degrees. At about 10 minutes, we can pull it out, take a look at the internal temperature with the Final Touch X10. Look at that, perfectly cooked salmon. It gives the temperature in one to three seconds. Pork tenderloin, gorgeous and juicy when cooked to perfection. But if it's overcooked, it's like eating shoe leather. Just drizzle it with olive oil and then season the meat all over. My balmoral seasoning's perfect for pork. Next, it needs a good sear in hot vegetable oil to caramelize the protein. We call that the Maillard reaction. Just get that nice caramelization all over the meat. Then it goes into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Start checking it about 20 minutes. I'm looking for 150 degrees for it to be nicely cooked. Most people are still uncomfortable with seeing pink in the pork, but if that's okay with you, then go for 145 degrees. That's a safe temperature. Let's see what the internal temperature of the pork is. No longer will you have to cut your steak, chicken or fish to see if it's cooked in the middle. A little prod with the Final Touch X10 and within seconds you know exactly if it's cooked. New York strips, on the stove or on the grill, olive oil, season and a hot sear, into the oven until your desired doneness. On New York strips, I like medium rare, so going for, well, between 135, 140. The residual heat will continue cooking the meat a little bit longer. Roast chicken. Prince William and Harry love roast chicken, and I cooked it all the time at Kensington Palace. A lot of people are scared of cooking a whole chicken, but honestly, it's so easy and economical to cook too, especially with the Final Touch X10 to test for perfect doneness. Here's how I roast my chicken. No fat, just a sprinkle of seasoning into the oven at 425 degrees. It needs about an hour. 165 degrees in the thigh, perfect temperature. My temperatures for cooking the basic proteins and with the help of the Chef's Temp Final Touch X10, you'll be cooking to perfection too. Chef Temp is a household name in the kitchen appliance industry and is renowned for manufacturing state-of-the-art devices. Click on the link in the description and order your Final Touch X10. And don't forget to add the coupon code for your $10 discount. See you again soon.